Today, we're taking a look at iOS 17, and in particular, Apple Reminders, which has had a host of updates. Today, we're very lucky to have been sent in some iOS 17 uh, Reminders videos from Aaron Bielert, and this is really helpful because we at Keep Productive do not run naturally the beta versions of iOS 17, but the brave and uh, fearless <laughs> Aaron Bielert has helped us to um, bring that to life. So thank you very much, Aaron. Uh, Aaron is one of the network presidents at Spark TV. You can find his Twitter linked below. So thank you, Aaron. And let's have a little look at what iOS 17 Reminders brings us. And quite interestingly, I would like to talk about some of the things that I noticed here in terms of the abilities with Kanban. So as Aaron stated to me on iOS and iPadOS, they have the Kanban experience for boards there, but they do not have it on the macOS Sonama version. Maybe this is something Apple will potentially roll out, but reminders now, and we'll have Kanban columns on iOS, which is pretty good. So you can separate your tasks into columns based on whatever you like, but essentially this allows you to break your tasks into sections and gives you a bit more of a Trello-like feel to your reminders experience. Now, this is something that Apple obviously um, uh, getting a lot of inspiration from other applications, but obviously it naturally is a step forward for reminders in becoming a little bit more practical on the iPad devices in particular. The next thing is shopping lists. Um, I actually don't think this was available previously, but Aaron pointed out that in the groceries area, if you create a temp from a template uh, and it's not a smart list, it's a groceries list, when you write the items out, it will auto-organize them into sections based on the type of food. I am almost certain this is a new iOS feature, uh, but at the same time, if I'm seeing it for the first time, this is cool. Uh, but essentially, it allows you to uh, get a breakdown. So for example, you type in meats, uh, veg, uh, you know, fish, and it will start separating that out to make it a little bit more orderly. So you go into each section in, section in the departments, then this is going to save you a bit of time. And finally, they obviously introduced live activities, which essentially allows you to interact with your widgets, allowing you to tick off items. And this is available for Apple Reminders, allowing those to essentially just tick off items without actually leaving uh, the, the, the homepage, which is great. So you don't have to go into the app, you can actually tick them off from the widget that you see on the account. Now, currently, Aaron reminded me that the Apple Journal isn't available until September 2023, even in the beta preview. However, if you're interested in exploring more about what that does, we've got a guide over on Toolfinder to how it is proposed to work when it launches. Um, other items that WWDC did introduce is Apple Notes is also getting note linking, which allows you to connect up one note to another which is something that a lot of popular applications have, but in a very much dose down version. So thank you very much again to Aaron. I uh, appreciate um, him basically just filming this for us and helping us to see this side of the iOS beta and a preview of what Apple will be releasing in September. So do stay tuned for it. If you're new here, please do hit subscribe. And if you'd like to find any productivity tool ever, <laughs> or just generally, then head over to Toolfinder. Thank you very much again to Aaron, and uh, thank you for diving into this video. I'll see you all very soon. Cheerio.